Hello, I'm Michelle Yang. And I'm Alexander Fang. And this is our app, Eco Recipes. Our app will offer healthy, eco-friendly recipes, encourage recipes that prioritize local farms and sustainable food producers, and empowers individuals to make informed choices aligned with their health goals while actively contributing to a more sustainable food system. Here, we will look at two main contributors to the food industry's carbon footprint. Processed and packaged foods have large carbon footprints due to their energy-intensive manufacturing processes and packaging waste. Secondly, consuming non-seasonal fruits and vegetables usually involves long-distance transportation, which also leaves its mark on the planet. These products are responsible for 5 to 17 times more CO2 than locally produced food. Here's some more background information. The food industry is one of the largest and most energy-consuming sectors. A great deal of energy, mainly in the form of heat and electricity, is required to transform edible raw materials into products. And since food demand is expected to rise substantially by 2050 due to population growth and improved living standards, food production needs to be increased accordingly, which will also increase the CO2 released proportionally. Now we'll take a look at what foods are most harmful to the planet. Animal-based foods are generally associated with the highest greenhouse gas emissions due to their extensive grasslands created by deforestation, which releases the CO2 stored in forests. Reducing the carbon footprint by switching to eco-friendly or locally available sources offers a more sustainable way of life. The table shows different carbon footprints associated with different foods. Clearly, you can see that fruits and vegetables are more eco-friendly than meat. Next. So, our app uses artificial intelligence that will provide a recipe with ingredients that have a low carbon footprint and retrieve a local farmer market location based on the Google Maps. Next. We used MIT App Inventor to make this map along with map API, location sensors, images, ChatGPT API, and animation slash GIF. Next. So our, the first screen is our home screen. The home screen allows you to access three functions. The top one leads to education, the education screens. The middle one leads to the AI and the bottom leads you to find to the local, a map with local farmers markets. Education screens one and two give a summary on the carbon footprint of different foods to encourage users to use more eco-friendly recipes. Next. The first screen on this page is the AI screen, which showcases an animation and leads you to the middle screen. The middle screen uses artificial intelligence called EcoGPT to generate eco-friendly recipes. And the last screen is a map of local farmers markets. Thank you. Thank you for listening. I will now do a demo on the app. Okay. Okay, so um, this no. this screen is our home screen, and the top button leads to our educational screens. Please click on that. This is the first educational screen. Here it has a summary of food's carbon footprint and an introduction on the problem for the user. Please click learn more. This screen gives a more detailed um, overview of the CO two produced um, during transportation per product. Please go back to the home screen. The middle button leads to the Find Recipe screen. Please click on that. Here we have our animation and a button to access our AI called EcoGPT. Please click on that. This is our AI, and we have named it EcoGPT, and it returns recipes to the user. It has a preset um, entry for the user to use. Please click that. And while it generates this, it takes a little bit of time, but you can also add in dietary preferences later um, to personalize the recipe to your, your needs. Give it one more minute. And here's the recipe and you'll, have, you'll find all the details you need to cook the recipe. Please go back to the home screen. And the bottom button, we have the um, 
um, it leads to the screen with the maps that has um, the local farmers markets. Please click on that. Here at the top, there's a button that says that uses the location sensor to pan the map to the user's location, allowing them to find markets around them. And if you click on the markers, the name and address will pop up so you can easily enter it into your phone to, for directions. Um, that concludes our demo and presentation. Thank you for your time. Okay, judges, please start your Q&A.